I want to congratulate this lady right here on uh, this week's number one song in the land of bluegrass music. They traveled all the way from Raleigh, North Carolina to return because they love the Stanley family, they love this festival, and they wanted to play for you today. So let's welcome them back to this stage here in 2023. They're recording for Pine Castle. How about it for Lorraine Jordan and Carolina Rose?
just brought a 45 bus up here. 45 foot bus. Little Roy would not do that, but he did. Are you serious? He finally got brave. All right, after all these years. Susan, good to see you. I said, I'm going to borrow that blanket from, from the next door neighbor there later on tonight when I come watch John Anderson. Hey, I see you got my favorite coat on right there. I know what's on the back of that coat. I've seen it. That's a beautiful coat. Lovely. I'm glad to see you. Paul is always glad to have you because. You video and we get to see ourselves actually on the way home. That gives us something to do. And looks like you got some streaming going on down here too. Everybody else doing okay? That's good. That's good. Y'all had a good year? All right. Well, it's going to be, I think it's one of the coldest uh, Mays we've had. But that's okay with me. I'd rather be cold and hot. How about y'all? Y'all looking forward to Larry Sparks tonight? Woo! Right, Stanley coming on back. And how about, how about my favorite, Mr. John Anderson? I'll let you know we recorded a song with Mr. John Anderson called Seminole Wind. It's got 3.4 million views on it right there on YouTube if you want to take a look at that. Good friend of mine. I'm looking forward to eating supper with him tonight. But anyway, folks, we're going to give you some good bluegrass music. The man over here on the left-hand side, he's now sang his second number one song. Been out in bluegrass. He's been with me for about five or six years now. And he sang Bill Rose's Old Manlin. So we get straight to number one. And we just found out a couple of weeks ago that we have officially got the number one song in bluegrass in the nation and he's gonna sing the song right now. This is Mr. Alan Dyer if you give him a nice hand. And he's gonna sing a good old song. Here's your number one song, a little bit of bluegrass to chase your blues away. A little bit of blues. Take a little bit of bluegrass home with you. Make sure you check us out after the show. I hear Dad's gonna be going on back down the mountain. He's gonna leave me before before uh, the night. Here, so if he leaves, we got to pack the sales table up. You know? I don't know how that goes. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that one. Folks, the fellow back there on the bass, he sings a mighty good traditional bluegrass song. We're gonna turn him loose on one I really enjoy hearing him sing right now. This is off the brand new CD also. His name's Mr. Kevin Lamb, and uh, he's a barbecue man. He's gonna sing a song for you right now called Molly Rose.
Chris Jones just got off the stage, and I know he played lots with Mr. Tom T. Hall and, and all, but you know, it's his birthday. It is. Mr. Miss Dixie's birthday also. It's a good day to do the Tom T. Hall tribute song, don't you think? I think it is. And this one tells all about it. Do you think this, this song suits him? Do you think it tells Very much so. I'm sure the audience will too. Okay. Well, we're going to send this out to you then. Suits him to a T. Yes, it does. Here's one called, Who's Going to Tell the Story Now That the Storyteller's Gone? Bring you to 
Kentucky, maybe you've heard that song because Tom T was from Kentucky as you probably know. And one of Miss Dixie and him wrote called A Light in the Wind Again, and that's about Bill Rose's home place also. So appreciate them for, for helping us out, putting us on their label and getting them off to a great start. We're gonna do a song right now. This is uh, not the song that the song we did earlier, it's the number one song right now, but we're gonna do a song for you right now that was the number one song for us. And not only was it a number one song on the Bluegrass charts, but it was the most played song in the year of 2020 and part of 2021. And I think that's because we put our music out when COVID was out there. You know, you had you couldn't get out, so why not put your CDs out? A lot of bands held back, said they're gonna put theirs out later. We went ahead and put ours out, and it became the most played uh, bluegrass CD out there at the time. You know, this is a song about Bill Monroe and Bill Monroe's Madeline. And, I'm playing Bill Monroe's Old Man Lynn today, and this was uh, gifted to me by the Gibson Factory uh, in Nashville, Tennessee for this song. This tells the story of when Ricky Skaggs was inducted into the Bluegrass Hall of Fame. This song's done a lot of good things for us. Hope you enjoy it. Bill Monroe's Old Man Lynn. <laughs> Sweet old dust 
that Ricky from time to time. This features you on the guitar, doing some great finger picking style. Uh, this is how Wayne got his job right here. You see, we had to have a guitar to do this song. It's a great song. The words mean so much. It says, just an old penny waiting on change. We'll send this out to Paula. How about that? If you haven't ever been to Years of Farming, Paula's got a great place out there, folks. It's a good place. Just don't go into Kentucky Derby's in town. <laughs> and I didn't find out that was exactly a weekend. But anyway, we'll be back. We'll join her on again sometime. We appreciate her having us. Here's a beautiful song. You ready, Mr. Wayne Morris, everybody, on lead guitar? <laughs> Thank you. 
So I'm sure she's no stranger to a lot of you, but uh, she is probably, I, I feel comfortable saying, the hardest working woman in bluegrass music. Uh, she dedicates a lot of her time and energy to promoting bluegrass music. She has two bluegrass festivals that she owns and, and, and promotes, and we have one that we are the host band for, and she uh, does a lot to keep all of that going. She mentors a lot of the uh, younger talent that's coming up. She has a coffee house that uh, plays bluegrass music every Friday night. She's an award-winning artist. She was a um, 2015 Stigma Female Vocals of the Year. Five number one songs to her credit. If you will, please make welcome this afternoon the lady of tradition, Miss Lorraine Jordan. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. I'll come to some of those festivals. Uh, how many have been to the Bluegrass Christmas in the Smokies? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. It uh, was in Pigeon Point. We moved it. Uh, another festival moved in, so we moved over to Gatlinburg, and we love it. Gatlin, good to see you. Good to see you in a long time. Gatlinburg, Tennessee, is really the place to be. Am I right, Randall? Yes, we It is the place to be. I mean, you can the whole festival's in there, and you can walk outside, and you can walk all the way around. If you don't want to walk around, you can catch a trolley. But uh, it's parking right across the street, and uh, come to Gatlinburg. And then we've also got the bluegrass and the blue ridge. That's in Kingsport, Tennessee. That's a new festival we just started last April with in conjunction with East Tennessee State University. And y'all come check that one out too. And Father's Day weekend, we'll be at Willow Oak Music Park in Roxburgh, North Carolina. For the Father's Day weekend festival there. So check our whole schedule out at CarolinaRoadBand.com. I'm gonna do one of my most requested songs for you right now. Lauren's gonna help me out on the end, run that fox up the hill. Here's one about our Uncle Penn and Uncle Jasper, Bill Monroe's uncles right here. One blowing the fox hound and, and, and one playing the fiddle. It's called Run Little Fox Run. <laughs>
Hey folks, uh, running old folks down up the road there, we sure did. And uh, have y'all enjoyed what we've done so far today? Yeah. Yeah. Try to do you good traditional bluegrass music. You know, we're known for that and we're also known for classic country. Country grass music too that, that we do. And we did record with John Anderson and Crystal Gale and T.G. Shepard and John Conley. Those great, great, wonderful country legends. That's what I call the real country music. Those yeah. guys right there, you know. Yeah. So glad we, we're going to have one here with us tonight. Um, well, this song right here, it's not been a great year for me this year. Uh, it's been a lot of sorrow in my, in my, uh, in my heart. Uh, my, my husband, Tom, passed away this year. And uh, a couple years ago, my mama, Janice, passed away. And I've lost a lot of good friends here. And uh, you know, those times, uh, those times are really hard. And it caused me uh, a, lot of, a lot of sorrow, and it caused me to go to write a great song. And this song that we're going to do next is on the gospel. It's going out on the gospel uh, era, the gospel CD. So I'm going to let you know right now. We put this song out Mother's Day weekend. Uh, Don Ulysses and I did this song. We wrote this song, and we sang this song together. And we put it out Mother's Day weekend, and it went on the Gospel Bluegrass Today charts, and it debuted at number six. That's, that's pretty high to start, but it's thirty up. But I'm really excited about this song. Listen to the song. If you feel it like I feel it, I think you'll enjoy it. Don and I both wear a cross. It's our mama's cross. I've got mine on. Donna wears hers. Didn't you see Donna here yesterday or the day yeah. before? She probably had hers on. And uh, we're really excited about this song. And this is... This is in tribute to our, our mothers right here. Hope you enjoy it. Mom's Cross. Every memory I have of my mama Singing there around her precious name Surprises, but it, it shouldn't have surprised me because anybody that loves their mama 
knows what that all that's all about right there. Ain't nothing like a daughter and a mama's love for each other. <laughs> well, our time has come to go, and we're going to take you out with gospel right now. We had a great time picking and singing for you. Uh, before I go, I just want to know who's going to win the bus contest. Who's got the prettiest bus out here? I mean, you got this, you got this teal one over here. Uh, yeah, yeah. who's going to win the blue? That's right. Then you got this blue one over here, and then you got that white one. So I guess I'll have all the North Carolina and Kentucky people voting for mine, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Of course, the Carolina Panthers are that teal, that teal blue over there. Well, folks, we had a great time. We love this festival. We love what the Stanley stood for. We love what Ralph Toon does to carry on the tradition. And uh, when uh, when John Anderson was booked on this, uh, you know, he uh, we were we were asked to, to join the, the, the lineup. So we were we were really blessed to join the lineup. We're glad to be here. Glad to be a be a part of seeing him tonight. And it's very special to uh, give him a give him an honor like that because that man's the nicest man you'll ever meet and he's got bluegrass in his soul i'll tell you he does he plays the banjo if you didn't know that sure does all right folks on behalf of warren blair on the fiddle wayne marsh on guitar get yeah. lamb on the bass he's singing apple dyer green guitar he's singing ben green on the banjo we had a great time, and this, this is a great band right here, folks. I, I love these guys. They're nice, and they're talented, and they're so wonderful to travel with. And I just want y'all to give a hand, and we'll take you out. Thank you for having us. Yeah. 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 There's a call that brings all the ones you see to those now gone. Raven and I, it was a lot of fun going out and cheering with him there for a year or so. 
Uh, the new project, we're going to do a country grass too. And if we've already got T.G. Shepard and T. Graham Brown on there. Michael Martin Murphy's on there. Uh, so some heavy hitters going to be on there. Some of them will be back with us before, but we got some new ones also. So uh, looking, uh, looking to put it together and have it out maybe in a year. Right now, uh, T.G. Shepard is going to debut his on Prime Cups of Country. And uh, we recorded with him the one I think he says, I love them, everyone. <laughs> I love that song too. That was a name of an album that he came out with in the early 1980s. And before you leave us here, you've got your merch here and everything. Uh, your festivals, you've got two. Uh, give us a little itinerary, what you got coming up in the future. Yeah, go check that out. My 92 year old dad's back there at the sales table. And we're not going to be here, uh, to, I will be, but the boys are going on back. Dad's back there. If you want our CD or you want any of our product or if you want to just say hello to us and meet us and uh, shake and howdy, we'll be back there, you know, for the next uh, 30 minutes or so probably. And, uh, and we got uh, we got a lot going on with Christmas in the Smokies in Gatlinburg and uh, Bluegrass in the Blue Ridge in Kingsport in April. And then we'll be at uh, Willow Music Park Father's Day weekend. And we got about 87 dates this year. We will see you somewhere. We'll be in Ohio next weekend at WOBO. <laughs> a lot of old people, uh, Ohio people here, that's for sure. Personally, thank you for what you're doing to keep real country and bluegrass alive, Lorraine. Thank you for what you do also. Lorraine Jordan, Woo! Carolina Road.